Good afternoon to those who will listen. It's January 13th, 2018, 4.24 p.m. And uh, I haven't taken a shower, I haven't shaved, I haven't done nothing. I don't feel very good. My... Weird. My blood pressure is still kind of high, but my pulse is perfectly normal. I don't know if that's something. Um, I think maybe the blood pressure thing is still high because my room is really cold and I'm wearing a coat and I'm still shivering. So that could be something to it. Uh, I went to the office and they brought in a space heater. I mean, you can't even go in the bathroom. It's ice cold. I'm not, and I'm serious. The floor feels like ice. But uh, I don't know. How do I? Why can't I have a, a normal room? But I really do think that I was exposed to chemicals be, and toxic something. Because look at I. I this happened to me before when I had the when I was sick the last time for nine months. And just flush really bad. And, <clears throat> you know, you can't see some of it because of my beard, but I don't know. I mean, I feel better, a lot better than I did before, but <clears throat> it feels like I'm not, I don't know. Maybe I'm, it's just because I still have the whatever is in my system is making me feel really terrible I don't know but I just wanted to do a little quick update I don't want to make this long or nothing but I did notice something funny look at him the light the light shining the way the rays are coming out kind of reminds me of the sun sun simulator ha 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 but yeah I don't know I'm just gonna keep you know monitoring my blood pressure see what what happens <coughs> At least I'm here where I can go to a different hospital if something happens and maybe they'll take me seriously. I don't know. Because they will just, they refuse to do the blood test to do the, to see if I have toxins in my system. They refuse to do an order, uh, a referral to a specialist. So maybe, I don't know, in a way, maybe I just should go. I mean, I don't want to just go to the emergency room again. Especially if they find out the information from the other hospitals, they might think, oh, this guy's just hypochondriac or something like that. And I don't want to do that, but maybe they could actually do the test. And if they could do the test, maybe they could actually find something. You know, I don't know. But, you know, it's just cold in here, and I don't know. It's got to be like 50 degrees in here. It's really cold. Even with my coat on, I'm cold. The one room has the one heater and it works for a little while and then it shuts down and then it's just blowing cold air out and then the space heater is working but it's not doing a lot so i don't know but i'm going to do a video in a little bit so watch for it i want to do this just in case something happens to me i want to do my testimony to jesus <clears throat> and i just want to know i just want to let you guys know that you know i still have faith and I still have 100% trust in Jesus that he's you know going to cure me but you know I'm really really suffering and I don't want to sound like a baby or anything but you know what I'm going through is, is really really hard <clears throat> it just feels like you know I'm, I'm dying it really does it feels like I'm ready to pass out and and I feel like I'm losing consciousness and my I feel like I'm uh, confused, like my, I'm coming out all the way here in my head. I mean, it's a lot better now, but when it happens, that's how I feel, and it just feels like I'm I'm really dying, and and it, it does scare me. And I'm you know it's it's something that you know you can't really. Uh, you know, I mean, I can I'm calm. Whenever this happens, I'm calm in my mind, but I can't get my body to stop doing whatever it's you know doing. So I don't know. But thanks for watching. I don't I want to make this long. Because my, my next video testimonies are going to be long. And I just want to throw it all out there. 
and you can see my life uh, and my walk with Jesus. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. God bless.